we're back in the fish room and it's been a decent amount of time since I posted a, a video of the fish or for anything for that matter and that's just because I've been super busy and I kind of lost uh, well I didn't really lose interest in the fish um, but I kind of burnt myself out from pretty much a lot of my hobbies so uh, I had to take a little break um, I mean obviously like, I still cared for the fish and stuff but uh, we're back now um, I'm gonna try to take it a little bit slower this time I'm staying away from games on YouTube because I think that's what did it for me so um, we'll try that we're just gonna post some fish videos which I'm sure a lot of you will enjoy just seeing fish stuff but um, I don't know how often it's gonna be but we're gonna start here which is just gonna be a simple update video like we normally do um, no projects or anything uh, we're just gonna kinda get caught back up so uh, there's been some deaths there's, there's obviously some new fish as you can tell some of the tanks um, you can see some of the tanks are set up now the 55 is set up and there's stuff in it so there's quite a few little things we have to talk about here but um, anyway first things first let's talk about the 20 long so um, there's been a death in this video or in this video two deaths in this tank um, one being our dwarf grommy uh, which is really sad uh, probably like my third favorite fish um, so very sad day I actually got pretty pretty upset about it and then um, we also lost the blue female beta which went to a different tank and died in that tank not in this tank uh, we'll get to the reason why here in a second but um, so we lost the dwarf Romney to dropsy um, very swollen abdomen very lethargic uh, I didn't catch it in time uh, I haven't really been necessarily in the fish room a lot so I haven't been like uh, checking up on them which is my fault um, and there was probably a period of time where it was more letting the tanks tick over like tick over like a clock more than anything so I'm gonna take blame for all the deaths because I could have probably caught it early on although dropsy is kind of a hard um, thing to tackle but oh well it is what it is it's a sad day we lost a, a beautiful little fish and we're gonna have to move on so as you can see there is a new beta in here though this is a female crown tail I believe I don't really remember um, she's obviously very uh, thick. She she eats a lot. She pretty much steals all the food. Also, I just had the Cory's lay eggs, so she had a decent snack um, with the eggs, and that's pretty normal. The Tetras also eat at them. So, but yeah, she's very beautiful. She has a white body, red tail, and a blue kind of like blue accent in her tail. She's pretty awesome. It might be hard to get the blue on camera. I mean, you can kind of see it actually, believe it or not. But it has to hit, the light has to hit it just right. But she's very awesome. She really likes to interact with the other beta, which we'll get to that beta here in a second. He's actually flaring. Let's go ahead and just show him off while he's he's being hot stuff over here. Um, so anyway, the five tetras are all still alive. Warrior, a little one-eyed uh, baby, he is still alive. He's smaller than everyone else. You can get why he has a huge eye. I don't know if I'm I'm assuming he's blind in that eye because um, it's swollen. Uh, so I think that's why he kind of doesn't get to compete for food. You can obviously tell he does get the food. Um, but they're all doing great. Um, they get chased around a little bit by the beta, but for the most part, they're still pretty comfortable. They're not in like a super tight school, so I'm not too worried about it. I do keep an eye on them though. If I see any like too much aggression, then I'm gonna have to, to split them up. But um, the Corys are all in here. If you don't remember, there is, I'm trying to get them, but they're all hiding. Um, there is six emerald greens, two julii's, and two salt and pepper. The four randoms have been meant to be pulled out of here forever. I just have not um, done it. And I don't know when exactly I'm going to do it. Um, I would like to actually split those uh, four into different tanks and give them some more friends. So probably four a piece. But like I said, that's just one of those things I have to do. Right now they have um, emerald greens to hang out with and they seem to all get along. So uh, I'll just let it be for right now. Uh, all the plants are doing well. This guy decided to just kind of grow um, short and stumpy and bushy. It's fine by me. There's not a whole lot of light over here. So it's just kind of doing what it needs to do to stay alive and that's okay. Um, but that's pretty much it for that tank. The two snails are still alive. The shrimp's dead, I'm assuming. I have not seen that thing in forever. So I'm assuming it's dead. Um, it was okay. That was just kind of an experiment anyway. So the only thing really different that's been added 
besides the fish is the sponge filter, which that's pretty obvious why that's in there. Um, also, there is a new beta that is going to be put in uh, a new tank, and he is a koi beta, and he is freaking awesome. He's got blue eyes. It's not going to want to focus on him for whatever reason. Um, it's trying to, but there it goes. Uh, yeah, he's freaking awesome. He's flaring right now. <laughs> Cause I'm assuming he sees the other better, but he has blue eyes. He's got red, he's red on red, which is freaking awesome. But he's got some blue in him. Uh, I don't know if he'll get that throughout his body. You can see there's a couple specks. It looks like ick. It's not um, like that right there. And his gill is blue. So I'm 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 wanting to. I'm curious to see. You can kind of see it better there. There's a whole bunch of blue specks. I'm wondering if he's gonna turn uh, with some have some blue in him. Hence why his eyes are blue and stuff. But. We'll see. Only time will tell. I've only got him like a, probably a couple days ago, four, four or five days ago, so almost a week. Um, but he'll be going in that tank over there. As you can see, my office is now down here. It's pretty messy because I haven't organized it, but that's halfway filled up. But that tank is getting set up right now. I have some stuff on the way to set it up completely. But that's where he's going to go, so he's going to be by my desk. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for that tank. Anyway, onto this tank. You kind of saw the fish already. This is Dave. So this is the white and turquoise betta. Um, he has absolutely transformed into a different fish. Um, I had a feeling he wasn't going to stay that color anyway. Um, but he's putting on a little show for everybody right now just because he sees the, the female there. Um, and that's okay. I actually have a piece of cardboard to block off half of his tank. So there's a little bit of privacy, but when they see each other, it's good for them to interact and keep him active. And it's fun to see him flare up like that. So he's, like I said, he's totally a different fish. Red, white, and blue, which is pretty pretty awesome. Um, his tail is actually growing more than it was. But it kind of it kind of went away a little bit, um, and now it's coming back in full strength. So he's absolutely amazing. He's very active and very uh, personable. So he likes to he likes to eat. Um, the plant's doing really well, as you can see. There's a little bit of algae on there, but I also added a snail in here. There will be quarries in here. They're over here um, eventually. But that's just one of those things. It'll happen when it happens. Um, there's a missing tank. So here's second death. Eric, the paradise male betta, died also of dropsy. Um, it kind of hit all at once. Actually, it was around the same time. Um, his Once again, his abdomen swelled up, swelled, swelled up and he didn't swim. Um, the thing that kind of like hindered me from realizing that he was sick was his tank had a crap ton of blackbeard algae um, and he was in the back so I didn't actually get to see him in time I did pull him out when I found him and put him in the, the little side tank there and tried to give him medicine it was just too late so he died he was my second favorite fish so I I lost some some favorites some top ones there um, I actually ended up getting so kind of upset about it that I broke his tank down completely uh, I was just done with it I obviously moved the quarries out I didn't want them to die I put them in a different tank but I broke his tank down completely which is why that tanks over there at my desk and um, we moved on and I'm now got a new beta so I'm, I'm getting there a little, a little bit of a healing process but we're working on it anyway on to the oldest fish in the fish room. This is Frank, the betta, wherever he's at, he's hiding. Um, you can also see the stir by quarries in there. There's only two in here. I do not recommend having two fish and only two fish. One or three is better. Um, these, I got these very like at the very beginning. These might have been the first quarries I got. Um, I do plan on getting more. It's just one of those things. I haven't got around to go, uh, getting them. My local um, pet store, which would be Petco, it kind of sucks, but it does not carry stir buys. Um, only pet smart which is a little bit, a bit a little bit bit you know what I'm trying to say it's a little ways away there we go um, I'd have to drive out there and I just haven't got around to doing it um, anyway they're doing great seeing they're swimming around having a good time and Frank uh, Frank's probably in his log here he always hides in there but I don't see him in his Amazon sword um, he is a year and two months a couple days ago so, and that's just with me. I don't know how long he was in the, the fish store or whatever. So, he's a decently old fish, especially for a betta. Anything over a year, in my opinion, for a betta is pretty pretty good. Um, I know obviously some last five, six years, but that's what we're hoping for. We don't want to lose Frank. But uh, we're, we're pretty proud of the fact that he's made it this far. Um, 
The Amazon sword actually died back a lot. You can still see some of the leaves are kind of doing that, but it actually has come back in full force. A little bit narrower than what it was, and that's okay. I'm just glad it's still there. I was afraid it was going to um, completely die. And that's one of those things where just you kind of have to wait it out. Um, most people are just going to pull that plant, think it's dead, and they're going to throw it away. And reality, it could just be doing like a, it had a bad season, so it's trying to, to die off and come back um, and use those nutrients from those leaves to kind of grow new leaves. So give it a break, see what happens, and you could end up with, you know, an even better plant than you had before. Um, this guy was actually a little baby plant from Corey's shipment uh, from Aquarium Co-op. And I just threw it in here to see what happened, and it's actually kind of become a full-fledged plant. There's actually also some over here that's kind of growing around the little moss ball, so that's pretty awesome. Um, other than that, this tank's just kind of ticking over. It always has. Uh, the only other thing I'd like to add to it is um, two more quarries. So uh, I've actually converted these two tanks over into sponge filters only. Um, you can it, there's like barely any. Um, fish in here so it's not like it's a big deal as long as you monitor your nitrates and you do water changes regularly you're not gonna have an issue I know people are gonna be like well mechanical filtration well yeah to a certain extent um, depending on what you have in your tank the load you have in your tank you need mechanical just to kind of help it out but but with this scenario and a beta and two quarries there's not enough in here where a couple gravel vacs a month and some water changes can't handle so that's my little two cents there. Anyway, this is the other 20 long. Um, last you saw this tank, I'm pretty sure if I remember right, it only had six um, blue platies in it. Uh, I actually had an ick outbreak. I lost a couple of the adults um, and the female blue betta. That's where she uh, she went. She was lost to ick. Um, I actually did catch that in time, but I caught it a little late. Um, so it was already in like full swing and literally like a couple days after I treated it people started dying so uh, we lost a couple of fish there and that's okay we still have the colony as you can see um, and then I, I lost a, another one to unknown reasons it could have been pregnancy or birthing or just whatever um, but since then I have not lost I have one little male left and of course the full-fledged colony going on this thing is absolutely done great though as far as nitrates and everything um, I really haven't had to do much to it. The plants have done absolutely amazing. They've grown so much and the fish obviously love them. These three have done amazing. I actually trimmed this wisteria back. It got a little crazy. Um, it also was covering up the um, java fern there. I moved it from there to the back so it can get a little bit more light. Um, but yeah, this thing is absolutely amazing. As you can see, there's just tons and tons of babies. It's going to have a hard time focusing because there's crap all over the tank but um, and there's glare and everything but there's tons of babies and I'm talking there are some tiny ones in there that the camera's probably not gonna pick up there's kinda a little guy right there it's also not gonna focus but um, yeah that's pretty much that tank uh, I don't really think I'm gonna add anything more to that tank there's not much I want to do I might add something to kinda eat algae away but I have a snail in there um, I kinda wanna find something that'll mix up the bottom a little bit but uh, maybe some auto sink lists. that might be something I'll look into but it's not at the top of my list anyway that's that tank on to the 55 um, this tank is far from finished I actually had plans for it for a long year sunfish and stuff like that but uh, that kind of fell into the toilet <laughs> and we started with something new essentially what happened and I don't remember if this was in a video or not I ended up taking in a Firemouth Cichlid, um, who was having a rough time in his tank, uh, mainly because there was other cichlids in the tank that were beating him up, and he was not doing so well. There he is, right there. Um, <clears throat> so I took him in. I was really originally just going to keep him in here to kind of cycle the tank and keep it cycled, um, but it ended up turning in. I kind of fell in love with him. I was not in love with him when I first got him. I was not a Firemouth fan. But he is just the biggest teddy bear I've ever seen. I've kept other fish in here um, since then. And there he goes. And he is just the biggest teddy bear. He loves to hide, and that's pretty common. But um, 
he absolutely loves this tank and loves having it to himself, but that's not going to be the case for long. Um, as you can see, he's uprooted some of the plants. I just put them in pots. That one's still intact for now. Um, but I actually just got some more pots to kind of go over there today because there's going to be a fish getting added here recently, which we're going to get to over the, to the right here in a second. But um, he's absolutely awesome. He just now started to eat like really regular. Um, there for a while, he was very skittish. Like he wouldn't even come out to where you just saw. Um, and that's okay. I just gave him time. Um, I fed him food that I knew he would eat, uh, even if it was when I was not around. And he's still kind of that way now. He won't just jump up to the top of the water. Um, but I'm hoping adding a little bit of uh, fish in here will help him kind of get uh, aggressive with the feeding because I really like to uh, get him growing. Um, he hasn't grown too much. He's just now starting to grow. And so I'm pretty excited about that. But yeah, this is pretty much that tank. He kind of lives in this, this pot here and underneath, which he's actually at right now. You can kind of see him back there. But uh, he's an awesome fish. And like I said, he's just a big, friendly teddy bear as of right now. The fish that I put in there before, uh, he hasn't even touched. So anyway, on to what is going to be put in there. Um, as you can see, it is an albino rainbow shark and there's a lot of poop in there because I've been trying to feed him. He's been eating really, really well. Um, he had a really sunken in stomach when I got him. So I wanted to make sure that he was uh, decently fed. Uh, so for when he got in there, he wasn't trying to strive for food. Um, and he's absolutely done amazing. Uh, he's very healthy. I haven't seen any signs of anything, even coming from the pet store. So he seems to be in a healthy condition and he will get released either today or tomorrow depending on if I get to it today. Um, but he's an awesome fish. Uh, I think we named him Bruce, because he's a shark. Yeah, a shark. Um, but yeah, he's definitely awesome. He's gonna be a great addition to the to the tank. He's gonna sit on the bottom here. And he's a little territorial, which is gonna be pretty cool. He's gonna chase around some stuff. He ain't gonna hurt anything, especially not the fire mouth. The fire mouth will probably uh, flare up a couple times. I might try to get that on camera, because they're pretty awesome when they flare up. But uh, also, we'll be adding about 15 to 20 Odessa barbs in here to kind of get that mid-level going, the mid-level, top level. Um, and they'll be a great addition, and that'll be um, kind of a red, a red uh, trend going on with the fire mouse. The Odessa barbs have red in them, and of course, the Albano shark has red. But uh, that'll probably complete that tank. Maybe, maybe some kind of algae eater or something, but... Um, We'll see. I don't know. We'll see how the tank kind of ticks over once we get all the fish in there. But that's kind of the plans for that. Anyway, on to the second to last tank, which I'm going to sit down to watch because this is my favorite tank to watch now. A um, little backstory behind this tank. It uh, When I moved from my last house to this house, um, I kind of just threw this tank together. It was not how I wanted it. It wasn't something I wanted to like look at or watch. Um, I actually had a real hard time taking care of this tank because I just didn't care for it uh, and how it looked and everything. Um, so I decided after losing pretty much my whole colony of tiger barbs uh, due to what I think is lack of feeding, honestly. Now I fed them once a day, um, but with a colony like I had, it was, I should have been feeding multiple times a day and that's just my fault. And that was just one of those things that came along with me not doing what I need to do. Um, but now we're feeding them three times a day, different foods, and they're absolutely loving life. They, they uh, school tightly, and I actually have one uh, green little guy, whatever they're called. I think they call him a, a green tiger barb or emerald tiger barb or something. It's just a blotchy stripe is all it is. But uh, <clears throat> they are absolutely amazing. I had to go get more because I think I got down to four. Um, so I went and got some more. I decided that I was going to redo the tank. I did. I added more substrate. I mixed in different uh, kinds of substrate. Um, the plants were really having a hard time in the old tank. I mean, they were pretty much dead. So um, I replanted with the with the deeper substrate. I got some different lights that I'm testing out. So these are um, just some cheap Home Depot uh, Home Depot setup. So we're going to try that out. It seems to be working better. Um, I just had actually a really sh much stronger bulb in there and I actually just dyed it back because as you can see there's some algae on the glass and um, stuff like that so it might have been a little too strong so we're going to try this one it's a little bit weaker and hopefully it does better um, but uh, I actually just have recently got this coconut hut and I put some Anubias on top 
and that newbie is, is already shooting. It, it was leaning over, now it's shooting up, so it's actually doing very well. Um, I'm actually getting some Valisinaria in really soon, probably two days from now. Um, I'm going to replace this uh, Amazon sword in the back with that, and hopefully that'll grow up taller uh, and give some depth to the tank, and that Amazon sword is going to go to the new Betis tank. Um, but we'll see how that works out. But yeah, this is definitely an awesome tank. There is currently nine Tiger Barbs in here, um, and three of the, or there is three, um, albino white cores, and I don't know exactly where they're at. They're probably underneath this little log here. There's a little cave there. Um, and they might be in the coconut hut, but they're doing really well. They actually school with the Tiger Barbs every now and then. I would like to get that on camera. Um, but they're absolutely amazing. They love this tank, and I plan on getting three more. And that'll pretty much complete the tank, uh, with the exception of maybe one more tiger barb to just make ten. Um, but yeah, they're definitely some awesome fish, and I recommend them if you want to. Keep, I would do species only or keep them with other barbs. They're okay with other barbs. I mean, any any really okay with any fish as long as you have them in a huge school. But <clears throat> for the last tank, um, this is my new little experiment. This is a. Um, little goldfish. I believe it to be a fantail um, with how high its fin is, its dorsal fin. Um, it's not really one to focus on him, which is kind of sad, but he's a cool color. He's kind of bronzish uh, with a little hint of orange. <clears throat> but what I wanted to do is, I really want koi, but I really don't have a spot for that right now. Um, so I was like, why not just use this 29 that I'm never going to set up and put a goldfish in it. So, we have one goldfish, he's going to live in here, probably for his whole life, unless I get more goldfish, uh, which is a possibility with, I have a 40 right behind me, so, that might happen depending on how much I fall in love with him, but I have already fallen in love with him, <laughs> I absolutely love him, he's the cutest little thing, uh, his name is Bubbles, and um, he just has a nice sand bed, with a little bit of rock if he wants to go in there. Um, there is a wisteria floating around, he kind of actually munches on it every now and then, there used to be a decent amount in there, it's just gone now. But uh, he's going to get probably 8 to 10 inches, most likely. Most likely 8. I, if he gets 10 inches, I'll be really proud. But um, he's going to be loving life in this tank. It is heated, um, which just kind of helps their immune system. And it keeps him eating so that I can keep feeding him and making him grow a lot quicker and a lot bigger. But uh, we'll, we'll keep a track or an eye on him um, and see his growth progress. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this update video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's been a while, um, and there's been a lot of stuff that's kind of happened, but you should be caught up now, and if anything big happens, I will show it on video. Uh, like, like I said, I want to show the schooling fish, or the schooling quarries, and the growth progress of this little goldfish here. Um, I also will probably do a video once I set up the new beta tank, but Guys, that's going to do it for today. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, tell your friends that I'm back. Uh, hopefully I stick around. But uh, there also might be some new animals coming in that are not fish. So I'll keep you updated on that. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.